remember Paper Mario? That funny, groundbreaking, uniquely styled, surprisingly deep RPG from Intelligent Systems on the N64 in the year 2000? What we all don't know is how Paper Mario is one of the gayest adventures that Mario has ever been on. In this video, I don't mean to stereotype homosexuality or invalidate anyone's experiences with Paper Mario. I just think it's funny how much gay stuff there is in this game. So start fasting and fiber up, Power Bottoms, because this video is going to make you lose your shit. <laughs> Paper Mario is the story of a well-groomed, paper-thin, athletic, 26-year-old plumber going out to have a party with his royal gal pal, Princess Peach. This is until Bowser, heteronormative party crasher, kidnaps Peach for the ump millionth time by stealing her castle! Homewrecker! Also, Kami Koopa, disgraced hag, barely listens to Bowser's orders because she's a shady old queen. Yes, she is. What is this laugh? Blam, hair, hair, ho, ho, ha. Mario tries to stop Bowser, but then is overpowered by his star rod. That's right, this whole game revolves around a rod. <laughs> this game also revolves around star folk, star people. And I'd like to talk about them, please. The stars. Shortly into the adventure, we meet Twink. Let me say that again. Shortly into the adventure, we meet Twink. Twink is a little star who grants Princess Peach's wish to break out of the confines of her damsel in distress narrative. You know, like any good gay friend offering help to a sister in need. Peach, you listen to me. You aren't going to spend one more minute cooped up in here by yourself doing nothing. We're going to clean you up. We're gonna send you outside, and you can thank us later. Let's go, Fab Five! Anyway, what Twink wants is to grow up someday to be a big star like the stars he's met in Star Haven. Let's meet some of those beautiful stars that we meet over the starry-eyed course of this star adventure. Star. We have Eld Star, the Silver Fox. We have Mamar, who's always down for a sleepover. We have Scholar, the catty catty bitch. We have Muscular. He charms, then he disarms. Miss Star. Gender queer icon. Clever, academic, and preppy. And then we have Kalmar. Daddy, just take me away from here. The Starfolk aren't the only collection of characters that bring me joy. <laughs> but we'll get to the toads later. Princess Peach, though. In Mario 64, Princess Peach was voice acted. In Paper Mario, she became a full-blown character. She wants things, she takes action, and she doesn't take no guff from Kami Koopa or Bowser. In fact, her first interaction with Twink is just an exchange of her asking a little too much too soon, to which Twink replies, Um, Peach, uh, I just got called up to the sky like a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe. I could actually help. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true kid, stepping out into the world, talking to people, realizing they're more than willing to unload all their baggage onto you within the first few minutes of meeting. Over the course of Peach's sections of the games, we see her outwit, outsneak, and outclass the grunts who have stolen her castle. She eventually gains access to a magical tickle trunk through which she can send Mario helpful accessories! I don't know if the badge system was patented or something, but I feel like it should be included in more kinds of games. It's just super fun. Quick spoiler regarding the end of the game. You can skip ahead to four minutes and 56 seconds if you need to. The finale of this game is about using your star friends to fight Bowser, only to realize they're not strong enough. Then of all people, Twink comes in to tip the scales, utilizing Peach's holy good vibes to create the Peach Beam. This then breaks Bowser's abuse of the Star Rod, rendering him vulnerable to Mario's attacks. I still get chills thinking about it. Paper Mario for the N64 is my favorite anime. And now is the time that we must discuss the Toads. Minty and feisty, 
thee These mushrooms have something to tell thee Hey, listen! Musty, rusty, tasty, baby I'm coming down to share a little drink More tea mystery You can stare for free at vanity Go on, girl! Mini tea and dainty So cute they make me scream Toads are bring the tea Come and see Toads are bring tea tonight. Fuck that. Toads are bring the tea. There's no denying. This song is a cheap delight. The plot. Earlier I mentioned some events from the prologue. A plea from the stars. Then we have some very evocative chapter names. Chapter 1 Storming Koopa Bros Forest. Because of the queers have one natural enemy, it's bros. Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry, Dry Ruins. Now, they weren't always dry and ruined, they just forgot to moisturize. Chapter 3, The Invincible Tubba Blubba. Yeah, I don't care how tough you say you are, sometimes people pretend they're invincible, but all they've done is bury their traumatized heart under the ground of some village full of the ghosts of their past. Chapter 4, Trials in the Toy Box. <coughs> I've, I've been there. Chapter 5. Hot, hot times on Lava Lava Island. C um, can you just erase that one from my search history? Thank you. Chapter 6. Dark days in flower fields. What, are we getting criticized on Drag Race again? Here are your judges. A bunch of overdressed, prostering flowers. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Oh my god, I love it. Chapter 7. A star spirit on ice. Ooh, I'll take two, please. Are they boozy? And chapter eight, a star-powered showdown. Yes, like the SAG Awards. And now the conclusion. Maybe someday I'll do a full playthrough of this game, pointing out all the teeny tiny other little details that didn't even make it into this video. All of those suggestive details that seem to make it hilariously, and I assume unintentionally, gay as hell. We didn't even talk about all of the partners in this game or the whole series. That could probably be its own video. If there are other games that you want hoisted into the queer canon, that have unintentional queerness that you can think of, I would love to hear about them in the comments because this video made me very happy. <laughs> Shout out to our lovely people over on Patreon, Nathan Kingston and Elias Nickel. If you want to join them, you can subscribe over at patreon.com slash David Georgia. I'll spell it out on screen. <laughs> if you like this video, share it with a friend and subscribe. Have a happy and safe pride in the closet or out of the closet, in your home or in the streets. And thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. The Starfolk aren't the only collection of characters that bring me joy. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs>